Welcome back to Shroud Hearth Barrows, episode 10,556, the uh, advent of France. Nope, I saw that a fucking mile away. I did not see that, however. You. big is this dungeon? I completely forget. Ugh. Well, I guess... I think it's the game. Oh, no. Spooky boy! How about you fucking die? Oh, what an asshole. Get back up after I murder him. Well, oh, that's not good. Yeah. Can you get back up? I hope not. Get dunked on because I have. Uh, okay, all right, can't do this. Hit me up with that welcome stone. Like Kind's Peace, the most useless spell in this game. I don't care where you hurt differently. Let me up with that archaeology, though. Archaeology. 
Theologium. Look, now we're in Wendilius' place. Oh no, actually, we're not. Or maybe we have to go further and then open it again. So it makes you think, what the fuck is the point? I wouldn't have even cared if that's, like, the geometry was wrong here. It's just a waste of time to make the player go through two of these, but whatever. In fact, I wouldn't even notice if the geometry was wrong. I guarantee you I wouldn't have. I would have just kind of accepted it. That's kind of my logic when I go into these dungeons usually. Also something very glaring. Or glaring, rather. Well, that's nice. We can go to Garman's Hall because I know that's a place. At least I think it's a place for the, um... Gold or artifacts. So we might as well head that up while we're here. Kill Earth, heal, maze elevs. Okay. We're still doing good on time. Not like, you know, episode time. I'm talking about like real world time. Because uh, tomorrow I'm going back to uh, university, so. That's gonna be fun. Doubtful that I will be playing this game until God, probably spring break, huh? Um, that would be my guess. I mean, it's doubtful. I really, I don't really get much time during the semester to play games. When I do, I'm just not in the mood to record, and I'm just going to be away from my computer, so. Oh wait, I had a egg. It's not an action. So that's Gearman's Hall. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Uh... Hey. Hi. Take a look. I don't think I can deconstruct the short spear, but I'm not sure. You can take that. I don't even remember picking that up. I'll take one of these. And this one, too. And, uh... I don't, I'm never gonna use, uh, kite. Alright. Good day. 40,000 gold. It's a long way from the 700k that Kero originally had. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Especially with all these mods and everything. Hey, Jerome! Your sister's dead. Oh, Raider, Raider! You live among the clouds now, dear Raider. The mountain will eat you! Watch the mountain! I don't remember saying I, I found Raider. Raider's necklace, say. Raider! You saw Raider? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? She said she'll be home soon. You've made Narfi so happy. Narfi now waits for his sister until she comes home. At least Narfi has Raida's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. <laughs> Human flesh. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the roads get dangerous. God, Narfi just has that with him. Yeah, I don't know what else I would do. By the way, Zirel looks amazing with this armor. I really like, you know, the, the white leather bound uh, hilt with uh, you know, the bone. It really goes well with it.
don't really need to pack or anything. I just, like, mentally get ready, you feel? That's me. I should be like, oh, this is gonna be painful tomorrow. Just like, oh. Well, I think this is gonna be better. So we'll see. You know, I could be watching this video arbitrarily, you know, somehow in the future, and I'm just gonna be watching all this. Oh, Jonathan, I have no idea. Poor little child, you. It is something I would say. Not to that extent. I'll just be like, wow, you had no fucking clue what you were getting into, huh? No, I'm just gonna be like, yep. No, okay, so this goes somewhere. Ooh, the chest. Gold. This goes further. I don't even remember this part. So, soul gems. So steel great sword, apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that up, RQ. video, I think it'll probably be like June or maybe even July. It's January right now, by the way, if you wanted contacts. <laughs> now here's this thing. Archmage of Windhelm, Lord Battle Mage to King Harold. Magus, keep thy vigil eternal. Serve now in death as you did in life. By these seals are realm reserved from traitors three in their terms of strike. Get no over encumbered. Can I disenchant anything? Nope. Add here, my boy. Be quick about it. All right. Here. 
that's right. I it's this one. I remember looking that up at one point, like during one of my various playthroughs. I'm like, what the fuck, sir? Is there yeah, it's this one? Did I kill him so fast I didn't go through? Hmm. I guess. I guess not. Wow. Um. That was unexpected. <laughs> um. He usually had a really dumb boss fight that like involved him respawning in different places and he had to, you know, use ranged attacks, but Huh. Guess it's not. under two hand and you know would you look at that also the in case you're curious the rid of healing just says fuck off stay here you killed your father asshole that's all it says basically all right um oops uh let's go to everstead sell some things to the blacksmith and let's climb up the mountain what i need is the dramora merton from dragonborn dlc just so i can summon him and just sell don't crap think you can barter with me like i'm one of those damn chuck Worst thing about him is that he only has 2,000 gold. Are you okay? Oh, fucking god, why? I'm coming for you, Swit. Ooh, you have an Akagiri sword. And I'm over encumbered. Okay, well, he's literally right over here, so I don't care. I'm not gonna make that dumbass walk. Hi. Take a look. Hello. Okay. Uh, I don't need this elven bow. I don't know why these fucking merchants have so much money. Um, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Oh, it's like it's like it's like a very sword. Kind of looks cool. That's from um. I That's from Jace's sword. Climb up the mountain. It's gonna be a bit, but. Hey yo! And I'm probably gonna skip the same friggin' stone I had. Or the, um. Oh, wait, hey! I can sell things to you. Take a look. Okay. And, uh, that's, that's all I can tell you. Okay. Until next time. Thanks for the 800 gold. Jeez. Like a bank. Okay. 
But yeah, I usually miss like the same one of these etch tablets. Before the birth of man, the dragons ruled all of Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. But for the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Saw him in there, and then like he was gone. Hello. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Look how he's praying with his bread in his hand. I did. Strange days when the monks would do that. I wonder what it means. I like to spend time up here, walk the steps, meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Dude, you're pretty fucking metal. Like, it's snowing out, and you're and you just... <laughs> you have, like, something, like, covering, like, your legs. Not even fully. You know, and it's got rips in it, and you're just shirtless. You got nothing covering your arms. Dude, you're, you're like, fucking metal. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Until next time. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons proceeded, presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Yeah, we just didn't have vocal cords. I mean, it was just a problem. We couldn't even scream in pain. It was, it was really bad. Ah! What in the name of Jesus? Yeah, you know, the path's a little dangerous. You know, it's like people are crazy in the world. You know, where it was like... Overall, though, the path's pretty safe, all things considered. Yeah, this fucking demon just appears out of nowhere and just is like, Yeah, I can summon the Thum. And I have two legs. Yeah, I can just see that going swell. When was the last time you were up the path, asshole? Fucking clinic. Fucking give him like a potato and that's it. He does this sneaky. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in the old times, unafraid to war with the dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Aw, oh, sad. I think there was supposed to be a pilgrim up there, or back there, or the next one, so he might have, like, fucking roasted or something, I don't know. Honestly, though, the, like, this was so cool, but I'm um, actually, this is one of the things I really like about Skyrim Story. You have to actually physically walk up here, and there aren't any shortcuts, like, you have to go on this particular path, which I'm usually not a fan of, but I think here, it does, it does a good job. It keeps it interesting. You can find NPCs to talk to, and uh, you know Skyrim just fucking crashed. The game has crashed while reading binary data stream. This could indicate a corrupt NIF file. That's wonderful. Thanks, Skyrim. You're really the best. You know, good thing that the episode literally just ended. So uh, next time, I guess. Thank you all for watching.